What's up, Ace Holes? Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's a brand new week, and we're gonna start this one off spicy. I am re-recording this intro because, first of all, the first one was about 12 minutes long for some some reason. Uh, secondly, some new information uh, has come to the surface that I felt was important to include in the video. That information being the deck you see before you, I, just as a joke, after recording the video, I decided to keep working on this, keep playing a bit, and I hit pro rank. I hit pro rank with this Siege Warfare Resupply deck. Yes, it is possible. Um... This list, and the list that you will find a link to down below, is the, f uh, the list that I... Uh, it's the updated version. Uh, after recording this video, uh, while the deck was untested, uh, once I had gotten four games in, uh, I, had the, I had the knowledge to make a couple of tweaks. Uh, this updated version is a lot better, and it's the one I used to climb. Uh, it's not exactly the one you're going to see in the video. Um, I'm gonna go over the list real quick, and then I'm gonna make the, and then I'm gonna show you the two changes uh, between this list and the one you're actually gonna see in action. The deck, for the most part, plays uh, very similarly. It was actually very fun. Uh, the biggest problem with it was that it was inconsistent. Uh, like we play Siege, but we don't have a Neuromancy, we don't have Mata, and we don't have a whole lot of thinning. We have two thinning cards in Assault and uh, John Natalis. But I did actually manage to pull several wins out of my ass without drawing Siege. Uh, because some of the other cards can actually put in a quite a solid amount of work as well. So yeah, Siege, Assault, War Elephant. Uh, this has been king. I mean, this is this is epic in a, in a short round. It's it's very powerful even in a long round. It's a siege engine. It's a, it's a very durable point slimy card. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the new crew ability. Where it's just spooked by 8. I like I, th I thought it was pretty good even with just the old order effect. Where you had shield synergy and stuff like that. But this does make him a lot more playable in this particular version. So that's good. Triss is here to just uh, give us some flexibility and allow us to play some extra warfare cards. We have Bombardment, Boiling Oil, and Smoke Them Out. Bombardment is a powerhouse, uh, usually playing for at least 8. Uh, but of course, it can't play for more. And that's, you know, without the resupply triggers. Boiling Oil is just removal and being able to have uh, extra removal... If you need it, otherwise having point slam is very, very good. It's very good. It did well. Smoke them out is not a card I ended up playing a lot. Um, but, I mean, 6 for 5. If you have a couple of resupplies on the board, which I usually did when I play this, it, uh, it, it plays for good value. I mean, everything here plays for good value. Almost. Um... But the, but the main, main thing I like about this is that it can make War Elephant more more feasible, even in short rounds. Uh, of course, in, in in medium to long rounds, like you usually stake a frigate on the board, and you're going to have a crew pocket, no problem. But uh, Smoke Them Out really helps in a short round. Uh, siege Engines are, of course, War Elephant and Carrick Frigate. We have War Chariot, uh, which... I'm not super impressed by. I mean, it's a, it's a good card, but it just it's not spicy enough for me. Uh, Ballista and battering rams. These are very interchangeable. I went with Ballista because, of course, resupply. I wanted to keep within the theme. Uh, it actually plays for pretty decent value, uh, even with only a few uh, resupply triggers. So it's very good. Um, I mean, yeah, you can see the list before you. Mobilization, of course, is now a very limiting ability, a very limited ability, even. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it only works with soldiers, and only soldiers uh, that don't rely on deploy abilities are going to be effective, because it summons. 
We have Siege Master and Rivian Pikeman. They're both very similar. They're both four for five. Uh, with a two point order. The Siege Master will boost an ally. The Pikeman will damage an enemy. Pikeman will boost self by one on resupply. Siege Master will boost adjacent siege engines by one. So can technically be a two point uh, per resupply engine. Uh, that didn't often happen. Uh, which was kind of a shame. But, uh, I mean, it's still on par with Pikeman. Uh, the, the preferable target, excuse me, is Pikeman. Uh, if you open up with a Pikeman and you use leader, then and they both survive, uh, one of them will. <laughs> but if, if they both do, then you have four damage just sitting there on the board ready to... Uh, do -do -do -do. And you can drop a Ballista for an extra ping, or you can just use the Reach with the Boiling Oil. Uh, I got some nice kills with it. It definitely got some nice kills. Uh, but yeah, this is the preferable target. Siege Master is uh, almost equal, I would say. Uh, and yeah. Uh, like I said, I, I really enjoyed playing this. And uh, I had some explosive turns. I uh, bounced back from situations I didn't think I would. And I got some wins that I'm not sure I deserved. So, uh, the list you're going to see in the video does not have Triss, and it only has one smoke them out. In return, it has Queen Adelia and Bloody Flail. Uh, Bloody Flail, I think, is okay. But honestly, it it's kind of clunky. Uh, I struggled to use it for what you really want to use it for, which is removal, because it, it, it takes... Quite a few turns, even with a frigate on the board, it takes quite a few turns for this to come into range of actually removing something. And uh, Queen Adelia, or Adalia. Uh, I mean, getting getting another one of these engines, siege engines, or siege master, or pikemen. It's it's it's, it's good and all, but none of these um, are so crucial. Or so powerful that you want to spam them as much as you can. Uh, you do have reinforcements, uh, but yeah. Uh, Adalia for Triss was a really good change. And uh, dropping the Bloody Flail just for a second, smoke them out, um, was just. You know, power wise, it doesn't really matter because often. <laughs> Didn't want to play any of them, but provision-wise, it's of course more efficient, and it looks nicer. It's that that OCD I've been going on about. Uh, Audrey and Trollolo, I forgot to mention both of these. Really good. These are good cards. Like not not super explosive and fantastical, but given how tough they are to actually remove. And the fact that they can both get two points per resupply trigger. They did work. They're good. And they're both soldiers, which helps with crew. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of those. So, this intro was almost as long as the previous one, I realize. But, uh, I mean, I'm actually excited about this list. Again, main problem was consistency. But even without drawing Siege. Usually when I didn't draw Siege... I did draw pretty much everything else that I needed, slash wanted, and I still managed to, uh, you know, play some decent amount of points and pull through to pro rank. Now I'm a little bit upset because this season I was planning to do what I always do, which is climb every rank with Queen's Guard, and I got from three to one with Queen's Guard, and then now this happened. Um, uh, a little bit upsetting, but of course you can't be mad. It's it's hilarious. It's great. Siege is a great card. I did run into um, Shield Wall once. I think Shield Wall would wreck this, but I I can't say for certain. I just think it would. But that's not a realistic deck to measure your own decks up against anyway. So I got lucky. Uh, but then again. Matching up against Shield Wall is unlucky and unrealistic in the grand scheme of things. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, sorry for rambling, but again, I'm just excited. Uh, I just hit pro like 10 minutes ago. It was great. But yeah, enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for all the support. And yeah, enjoy the gameplay. Uh, this is going to have to be one of those videos where I put up a timestamp in the very beginning so people can skip right to the gameplay. And if you did skip right to the gameplay, this is where you're going to end up. And we're going to go into some gameplay. Hope you enjoy this video. Like and subscribe if you do. Disgusting YouTuber, YouTuber plugs, but uh, now we gotta do it. They say it works. Okay. You want peace? Fight for it. Skeleton. Ooh, battle trance. Okay, so right off the bat, we might be seeing a very interesting matchup. I like it. Uh, we have Trollolol, he can really help us win a round. We don't need two of these. Siege is good, but of course we don't want to play it now. Uh, against Battle Trance, I think a Boiling Oil is pretty good. So can actually the movement from this be. Okay. Uh, um, here's what I'll do. I think just going into Frigate is kind of a no-brainer. I'm going to put him here. Yes. I think we'll put him here. You know, Frigate will generate, like, crew pockets, and we can just drop a battering ram and then slam it right away, so it doesn't actually clog up the row, which is pretty good. It's a n nice combo. Oh. This may be Draco Turtle combo stuff. Round one get an eighth kind of a uh, kind of tells me that, that that could be the case. Uh, maybe just the Rivian Pikeman? With some protection on it, that seems good. I mean, against an alchemy deck, like, removal isn't that scary. It could have delirium, so we gotta be careful about our opening plays in, in later rounds. Oh, and I got a boost by two. Man, I should have just killed it right away. I can kill one now, luckily. I hope he's not playing Flamenica and I just helped him. <laughs> That's not going to be too bad if I did. There's a swell Bloodian Priest. Hmm. I have to put him on ranged to use the movement. Which does take up a slot. And I'm really not sure it's worth it. We will have to see. Runestone. Hope it doesn't get anything too good. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. That is a seven point card. Now, I don't want to commit Trollolo because we only have one more warfare to play.
Okay. That is fine. I mean, obviously having to fight a scenario is... It's not easy. He doesn't see my misplay there. <laughs> okay, it didn't. I play too deep. Um, I mean, that bombardment is, is definitely not bad. But I'm thinking I can get another one of these. See, we have four siege engines, so this is eight points, plus, of course, I mean, ten. Eleven? Eleven point bombardment. Not too shabby. Ah, the heal is keeping that alive. Obviously, I know how formation works. I just I've never touched that card, so I don't really know. Uh, we gave him no heal targets, which means he has less of a comeback strategy. Uh, he needs ten points. Uh, I can play troll a lol for seven. But then that is it. At least now I'm forcing him to either take a take a tie, which I don't think he'll do, or go a card down. I think I'd rather have that. I mean, we know he drew one of his more expensive cards. A Neuromancy, okay. Does he have an alchemy in hand? Well, I mean, this would have gotten him ahead, and then we would have dead cards we would have lost on even. So I'm glad I, you know, held my horses. I mean, it, it's hold your horses, so I did hold, I held. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. I need something very playable. Okay, so I'm gonna get a long round, which is good. Do I have good? I mean, I ha I, yeah, I have good cards. I think I have some good cards. Ooh, ooh, foo foo foo. I guess it's just gonna be a bunch of these. Well, I don't. I don't have to copy. I mean, actually, I kind of do. It's gonna be a lot of these. What are we missing out on? Odrin.
I mean, Frigate is also two points a turn. Actually, it gets boosted by one more. Okay. I guess... Let's get Trollolo down. Because he gets two points per warfare. We're going to play one, two... I'm going to play three warfare cards. Not, not spectacular. Oh, he could get Stunning Blow. That doesn't kill him. It does leave him vulnerable, though. One-eyed Betsy. Why? <sighs> I mean, let's see. He'll go to eight. I mean, this is this is worth so much more. Come on. I. Th I mean, I. Is he gonna kill this now? I kind of don't mind if he does. I get value from that armor even if he does. So, yeah, that's fine. And then we get to kill his priest, which, you know, I uh, very much wanted to do. Um, I see now that I won't be able to fully trigger. The oh, that sucks. I mean, I, I got points out of that. But I won't be able to fully trigger this, which really, really sucks. Um, That really sucks, because I won't have any warfare stuff. Well. We have a lot of points, but it's not going to do anything. Oh. I mean, he must have had a bad hand. I mean, I guess no Draco Turtle. I feel like if he if he had a Draco Turtle, I mean, I guess not. He he couldn't have had that much left. But yeah, that Troll Lol. I mean, he he got value. Our opponent spent a 6 damage card to kill a 1 point card. I mean, technically it was a 5 point card, but... We got those points anyway because he spent removal on it. You know how it works. Alright. Scoyatel. Glad it wasn't 3 Skelligas in a row. Although I would have gladly taken... Skellige again over this. I don't like playing as Nature's Gift. They have the removal. You guys know how I feel about the removal. I don't like it. Okay. Straight into that, huh? Well, that's okay. 
think my play, my first play was even more obvious. Because I am playing the blue faction. So I gotta play the blue card that plays the other blue card. Going second for this one, though. That can come in handy. Are you TAing that? Shit. He was. That's gonna make killing it a pain in the ass. Troll a lull, maybe? I think so. I think I like the troll. Wow, his voice line is long. Shaping nature. Wow. You're really lucky that I am not one of the th millions of people who just put heat waves in their deck. I mean, I know why they do it. Because some people are just greedy, greedy bastards. <laughs> um. I'm not too far behind. Although I definitely want to be further ahead. Nature's your rebuke. Can't even say the word. Okay, um, next up, something else. I mean, I could apply bleeding to this, I just, I don't like doing it because then they purify it and get more vitality. Although, now that he's spent that... I mean, getting rid of those two vitalities is pretty good. Let's see, I, I have four. Wow, he he did have the second one. Okay. Well, see, this this is where things get really difficult, and I have to pass. And he barely had to commit any removal. One rebuke, which means that he has rebuke, entry, and protector. Still very possible that it's not the uh, the devotion version, so there could easily be your boy. I want to keep that. Oh, I hope we can draw into Siege. I really need Siege and Elephant. If I'm going to lose this one, which I most surely will, I want it to be because my deck sucks, not because I drew poorly. That's Elephant. Come on. Come on. All right, no siege for this one. Other good cards though. Uh, 
Ah, but what's the best way to go about it? He just gets heat waved though, doesn't he? <laughs> I just really feel like he gets heat waved. Not right away. Yeah, that dies. Okay, and now... I mean, do I want to get down all my... my uh, resupply dudes? I mean, it's gonna be, take two more plays. Well, now we have four damage, which may help us take out something good. Uh, this counters the Ethnite pretty well, so hopefully he has that. <laughs> I really, really hope. No mercy. Oh, that's big. We can, but is it even worth our time? If he has Ethne. I'd be amazed if we win this without drawing Siege. Like, we have pretty, pretty decent cards, not gonna lie. Uh, getting this down is better than that. Okay, it's just killing that. So far, not good. But we know he doesn't have more purifies, so we can. Could have probably done that. I mean, sure. Like, if I just apply the bleed. Wow, we're really not doing well. Uh, what can I get? A second frigate? I mean, honestly, yeah. Well, they cancel each other out. Like, like, that vitality without my bleed would have been three extra points, so. I think it's pretty good. I just, I don't think our final cards are good enough. Because there's, there's just going to be... I do what I must. There's going to be Heat Wave, because he isn't playing Devotion. Yes, hello. There's going to be Heat Wave, so... No matter how big Odrin gets... I mean, I guess the elephant is going to be... I mean, the elephant is only one point bigger, so it actually doesn't matter that much. Uh, should I play the elephant, save this in case... There's actually something to kill. I think so. 
One, two, three, four siege engines. So this plays for eight, ten, eleven. There it is. We only lost one point by him doing that. Uh, actually, two. Actually, two. Really wish we hadn't hit that shield. Uh, the problem, of course, is Gord. Although he actually he hasn't played that many specials. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Eight? Nine? Because he's played that twice. Nine. Which means Harold Gord. Uh, have we seen the hand buff? I don't think. I don't think so. He did get one hand buff. So if, if that went on Gord, then he is 13. Damn you with this. He's 13. 15. He has 15 points. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Oh, I'm so glad I saw that. I'm so glad I saw that. You guys would have given me a lot of shit if I hadn't seen that. Oh, wait. One point, one point. Whoa. And we didn't even draw Siege. Which, against this deck, like, the trebuchet would have gotten value when just all of our cards would have gotten so much more value. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna do one more match because... Oh. I was gonna say, because the second match uh, wasn't... Uh, the second match I played uh, against another Skellige, just Skellige Warriors, like... Fully playing Skeleton Warriors. It wasn't super interesting. Uh, I just got wrecked. And I don't think you guys need to see that as long as I'm open about it. The fact that this deck does not have a 100% win rate. <laughs> at all. Um, no. Really. Um, I made one tweak though. Uh, I, I took out... I mean, I added a second smoke them out and took out a Siege Master. I mean, they're fine. But they're, they're never really doing what I need them to do. If that makes sense. Like, it, it turned out to be more difficult than I thought to get two Siege Engines adjacent to it. Because you don't want to clog up the Frigate Row with an additional Siege Engine. Um, oh, okay. Morin? That is Vale. I completely forgot I gave it Vale, and I guess my opponent did too. <laughs> I mean, that's a great start. There it is. Uh, I should have played this down first just to have the extra reach to be able to kill it. But it's fine. I think it's okay. I mean, actually, let's see. I can do that. Knock it down to three. And then, unless he does anything else, which I doubt he'll do. Go up to five and I can kill it. Uh, one problem with this deck is that I. It seems like either I just have all my good cards right away and you know, don't want to commit them, or I never draw Siege. This is Devotion version though, so maybe for once I'll actually get to play the War Elephant and make him big.
I didn't need to do that, but I did. I did it. I did it. Don't know what you're talking about. I did it. That was weird. Uh, it's kind of a shame that, you know, when I do an extra match to try and get a more interesting clip, that I go against a very similar deck from the last one. Although I guess it'll be kind of interesting to see, first of all, how we fare against the Devotion version, which obviously won't have the big Heat Wave. And which will definitely have Ethne, which we counter fairly well with Double Pikeman. Whew, Saskia. Okay, this is definitely a spicy list. This is not a net deck. This is Gespeisen. And I like it. I can kill it. Uh, I'm not sure I want to. I'm gonna have to Natalis. Assault into Natalis into a boiling oil. Just for this. But yeah, like, like I was saying before something happened, uh, we can kill this now unless he boosts it. He's going to boost it. Um, but like I was saying, with that, not only did we get to see how we fare against the Devotion version, which honestly I think we'll do a lot better against, uh, we'll also just in general get to see if we can beat Nature's Gift t twice. Although this is... Uh, because it's Devotion... I think is already weaker, and because he's actually trying to be original and cool, um, then I'm not sure how good it's going to be. The bloody flail is just kind of weird. Uh, that's a good dump. That's a good dump. Do I want to dump? I think I want to dump. I I like as many draws as I can. Alright. That's fine. Spend your removal now. I love it. It's the first removal we've seen. Although, a lock. So we got one rebuke and one lock. Whoa. I don't know why I'm moving around so much. I think just... Playing decks like this makes me kind of tense. It's fun though. I'm actually really enjoying it. Um... Some of the cards do feel a little bit janky, but it also definitely feels good at times. <sighs> um, a boiling oil. We gotta make sure we have enough siege engines. We do. Reinforcement, that also helps. Um, do we get a frigate or do we get troll -lol? The only on. I mean, this is two points every turn. This is two points only when we play certain cards. And that's... That's a dead one. Ooh. I mean, I can move it. It'll still boost, but it'll lose the three points. It's the only movement value I get. But I lose out on four points. By giving the bleeding there. I think what I'll do instead is use the bleeding on not a Hamadryad to see if we can bait out a a Purify. That's fine. I mean, it sucks. It 
Is it just siege time? Or do I try to get another one of these? I actually... I mean, I could siege first. Just to delay... The inevitable... Ooh, not sure about this. Not sure about this. Well, how am I try it? I'm obviously not going to give it a big, big thing there. Um, I can't just move it without giving it the bleeding. Uh, I can also just leave it be for now. I think that's also a fine idea. Just go for a frigate. And actually, once this goes up to 8 next turn, we will have th five, 5 reach on it. Uh, which... Is one less than I want. The problem here, I should have played this first because now, like. I mean, actually, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I thought that mattered. Ha! Huh. You really gonna kill that? Why? Because he would have gotten value now? Is that it? Son of a bitch. If I just had one more soldier. I think it's Odrin time. That kind of sucks. Ethne. I actually don't have a crew pocket for this. That kind of sucks. Uh, I can trigger it with something else, though. I'm just going to go with a second frigate. I think that's kind of good. That's like the one thing that I didn't want to happen. That is the worst. Hopefully we'll get to hit him with a second bombardment, but come on. <laughs> and I was boosting one. I'm always giving vitality to that. And then, okay. I mean, this is easy. This is easy. We kill this. We get an extra point off of it. And then we just... Cancel this out. So his purifies aren't getting extra value from removing bleeding and adding vitality. We just removed 8 points off of that thing. Which I think is pretty good. We're gonna hit Odrin? Oh man, Odrin? Okay, how many soldiers do I have? Oh, I completely forgot this was a thing. Well, I'm sorry. Misplay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, this is five more points this is I'd say two more points at best I 
Okay, wow. The gourd is gonna be big. And also, I really like row cocked myself. And I don't like it. I, I don't have a lot of soldiers, it seems. Well, I mean, we know the elephant is safe. Really? Uh, you can kill that. No. Why? You goofed. One, two, three, four, five siege engines. Not bad. Sixteen point gourd. And more point bombardment. And let's see, if he had if he had killed that, then instead of getting eight, I would have only gained two. That would have been a six point difference. It would have been a six-point difference, but I could have gotten another volunteer. So, it just barely didn't matter. I guess. Yes. I mean, that's right, right? Because instead of just getting eight points off the order, I wouldn't have been crude. So, I would have dealt four and four. Uh, the volunteer would have died. I mean, actually, because of that and that, if he'd done it immediately, I would have actually been able to get two extra volunteers. So it would have been a two-point difference. If he'd waited a turn, I mean, then I would have already done it. So, uh, actually, I, I think that went the way it was supposed to. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you thought this deck was cool. Have you been playing uh, some Siege Warfare of your own? Um, let me know any tips and suggestions you may have. Queen Adelia doesn't seem all that necessary. Anyway, hope to see you again soon. Until then, have a good one. Have a great one. Have the best one. And I hope to see you soon.